Good Monday morning. I just had a fantastic trade and I want to share it with you. Uh, forgive this E-Trade Pro setup because I am traveling and I don't have that much Wi-Fi right now, but I just locked in uh, some good profits, a little over $5,000 on WKHS. I was in it since last week. Um, got the perfect press release today, and it's actually not doing as much as I wanted, but that said, it's not so much of a surprise because this is not a hugely volatile stock, and more importantly, the news was easily predictable. You have to remember this, okay? I wrote this whole blog post over the weekend, the best stock, how to plan trades ahead of time, and I showed, you know, my Father's Day gift where I got him the ability to throw out the first pitch. That was cool. But this is today's press release, okay? Uh, they unveiled their Surefly helicopter, opens pre-orders, releases specifications. That's fantastic. It's good, you know, new news. Um, it's getting written about because it's at the Paris Air Show. Uh, you know, they're, they're talking about it on different uh, blogs. And, uh, you know, the company is tweeting about it. Here's the actual... Um, helicopter at the auto at the aero show so you have the news but at the same time the stock is really only up seven cents i was selling it in the 420s um a few times because frankly i'm just not confident in this stock buy the rumor sell the news and if by the end of this video lesson i want you to understand it if you do understand it leave a comment just underneath this video that says buy the rumor sell the news this is such a problem with newbies they don't understand that you know if there's breaking news so many people might have anticipated it okay like we did here on wkhs i can't tell you how many newbies in chat rooms and social media they're only talking about wkhs today because now they have the press release and they're like finding out about it now newbies and most people in chat rooms they haven't made millions of dollars they haven't created millionaire students because they don't understand the game okay they think that you just chase whatever's hot and in this you know far too long bull market they've been rewarded for their newbie ways in a different market you have to actually develop intelligence you have to actually think ahead of time and that's why i can't wait for a bear market to wipe all these newbies and you know wannabes away but for the time being they're still going to be chasing these kinds of plays and you to not be like the 90 percent of traders who lose money have to think differently that's why i made an hour long video describing every single detail while I, why i was buying this in the threes and how this news today was going to be predictable i didn't know first of all that they were going to issue sorry this is live live alerts going on um, I didn't know that there was going to be a press release today, pre-market for sure. Um, I don't have inside information. You never know a hundred percent, you know, sure fly. Maybe they could have made an excuse. Like we were transporting the helicopter to the Paris aero show and our, our plane broke down and we couldn't bring the thing over. I don't know. You know, there, there's a million things that could have happened. This was near best case scenario. We got the press release. Um, you know, the company is, is hyping it up. I saw this one tweet. I don't know if they have other tweets. Uh, here's the meeting before the air show for no reason. They're showing that. Uh, they, I guess they made the cover of charged EV. Oh, this was June 14th. Let me see their, their recent stuff. Yeah, so this is their only recent tweet. But, you know, you can see people are looking at this little, um, you know, wannabe helicopter. The press release is, is positive. They reinforced that early models will be pilot operated. The goal is to introduce future models uh, featuring autonomous flight. So, you know, they reinforced the, the, the old press release. Here was the old press release. In case you didn't realize, there's nothing new, okay? They just specifically updated this and said, okay, first we're going to unveil it and we're going to build the hype for three weeks. Now today they have unveiled it. 
And really the only difference, I mean, they say, look, early models will be pilot operated. The goal is to introduce future models. Is there any difference? Oh, now they've in included the specs. So three weeks have gone by and now they're able to put together, you know, a few more sentences. <laughs> they easily could have put the specs in the press release on May 31st. But then, you know, then then you would know that the game is up, right? Like, they're saying, look at this. They're opens pre-orders. I mean, they don't even have uh, regulatory approval to fly this thing. It's It, it blows my mind uh, how this company, let's see if they updated their website. Yep, they updated their website, so now the helicopter is front and center. And they talk about their drones and their pickup. But now it's all about the helicopter. After 78 years, the helicopter has been reinvented. They have no regulatory approval. They're not going to be selling this thing and flying this thing anytime soon. They haven't even done a test flight. They're not even testing the, the freaking thing at the Paris Auto Show. Um, they specifically said, uh, where was it? Was it in the other article? They're now accepting pre-orders. That's new. This other article. One of them says that they're hoping to do a test later in 2017. Is this it? Aircraft. We're hoping to be a light sport aircraft. Oh, okay. Here we go. So we're hoping to target the first flight before 2017 with a certification by the end of 2019. Why would you pre-market? Why would you pre-order it right now? You know, the company basically needs money. Um, I, I just, I think it's all hype, you know, and that's fine. A lot of people will say, oh, it's all hype. This is classic penny stocks this is why I don't trade penny stocks. Okay, so it's hype, but we understand how the game works so we can profit. Use the understanding of the game to make thousands of dollars. This is probably my best trade uh, in a few weeks. You know, let's see, actually. I show all my trades, by the way. These, there's no trades that I don't show. There's no trades that I'm like, people are like, yeah, I know you're trading with a small account in order to teach, but where are the real trades? I don't have time for, quote, real trades, okay? I am a full-time teacher. Some people are like, oh, I challenge you to a trade-off. What time do I have to do a trade-off? I already report every single trade to my students. It's crazy that people think I have all this, you know, extra time and, and all these other accounts. I show you every single trade. Um, now this pushes me up to over 120000 in profits uh, this year. And it's definitely one of my biggest gains. You know, I had that nice one on my long-term newsletter. I have this nice uh, dip buy on, uh, you know, this pump. This was a nice breakout play. And yeah, and then now here. I mean, this is one of my top five trades of the year. And a lot of you guys, wow, look at this. Down to 392. WKHS, green to red, as I suspected earlier. This is why I take profits so safely. Uh oh, Miss Cleo is saying that I'm not. Oh, Miss Cleo, the the psychic. <laughs> Tim predicted that I would go back to the threes, aka Miss Cleo. No, I'm not psychic. Um, you know, in my stream I said this. Oh my God, there's so many freaking alerts. Uh, earlier I said, you know, it was testing green to red. If it can hold its potential dip by, but I'll wait and see as I have a feeling that, you know, it's going to drop under four. This is a weak response to the PR. And that's the truth here. You know, whether it was at, uh, you know, 410, 420, 430, it's weak. It couldn't test the highs at 450. Um, you know, the press release didn't really say anything new. So I sold out and protected myself. And then I warned everybody else being like, I don't think this is a really good response. So I took the meat of the move here in the 420s. I actually timed this. I actually got it out in the 428, 429. I got out right near the day high. 
Um, you know, even now, if somehow I had fallen asleep and forgot to wake up uh, when the stock market, you know, opened, I would still have a profit now because um, I was in in the 380s. But the press release has come and gone. The hype has come and gone. And this breakout, for all intents and purposes, has failed. Now, it could bounce again. The volume is already, you know, a million. So in the first 20 minutes of the day, I mean, we've traded more than half of what it did on Friday. Um, but also, remember what I said in the video lesson over the weekend. You know, it had that first big green day, and then the second green day, it did not finish at its highs. And then for four straight days, it went down all the way back to where the green day started. So this is not a kind of play to have patience on. This is not a kind of play to be like, oh, this is going to go up for week after week after week. This was specifically to get in buying the rumor of the unveiling and then selling the news. Buy the rumor, sell the news. And I specifically said this. Uh, I said I didn't think that it was going to get back up. Why did I say it? Oh, I think I, it was before the market opened. I don't know. Maybe I just said it to, to somebody individual. But this is buy the rumor, sell the news. That's what this, this whole thing is. And I bought the rumor. I bought the breakout. I planned this to a T. And I sold and I profited. This is what I want you guys learning to do. You know, taking your profit solidly. That is the key here. Making roughly 10% on my money. Not going for a home run, not saying this, you know, new helicopter is going to change the world, not being typical penny stock traders and not buying today. I can't tell you how many freaking idiots in chat rooms were saying, oh, I'm going to watch this stock in the 420s and the 430s. And they're just, you know, a few days behind. It doesn't matter if it's in the 420s or the 430s. Anybody with a brain was in it in the 360s, 370s, 380s, 390s. Okay, so you have to think if you want more consistent profits. You don't have to think, okay? You could just go in a chat room and just try to buy the big percent gainers like most penny stock idiots do, and you will never make millions of dollars. Or maybe if this bull market keeps going, you might make millions, you know, after several years or several decades. But I'll tell you, in a different market environment, you're going to have to think ahead of time. You're going to have to think early the way that I'm trying to prepare you to. So this is WKHS, um, not a total surprise that it failed green to red. I had a really, really good, you know, sell pre-market and then near the market open, both near the day highs as too many other newbies were, you know, basically late to the game and not planning their trades meticulously. I know a few people in other rooms and they bought it in the 420s. And, you know, now they're down. I mean, now they're only down 20 cents. It didn't, like, totally crash. But it's just a stupid, stupid newbie move to buy after the news has hit and after, you know, the stock has basically failed to do anything. You know, again, whether the stock was at 410, 424, 390, the breakout was at 4. If you really think that this thing is going to be huge, it should have been testing resistance in the 450 range. It never got there. It couldn't even get to 430. So this was a weak breakout. And sure enough, you know, it came back down, um, you know, under resistance. Remember on Friday, it had problems at four. And now here we are right back at four again, because this breakout is weak. So if you understand this, this is a great example. Buy the rumor, sell the news. This was a fantastic over the weekend hold. This was fantastic. I was alerting this thing all the way since last Thursday. And, you know, there was some solid upside here. There was, uh, what, 50 cents, 60, 70 cents a share of upside since I started alerting it at $3.60. So it's all about being early and understanding how hype can, you know, push this kind of a stock up over the weekend with the new press release and yet understanding that, if you are smart and if you are ahead of the game, there's a lot of buy the rumor, sell the news type situations, and this is one of them. Thank you, guys. I'll see you in the chat room.